Hello and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So we're going to go back into that gift box once again that SF Bay Coffee sent me. This time we're going to grab out a bag of whole bean coffee. I know there's a lot of people out there that are dying for some more whole bean reviews. Trust me, more are coming. So this video is going to be talking about the SF Bay French Roast. Yes, people, this is the whole bean. I already did the pods, so I did the K-Cup like pods. Um, so you can check out that video if you want to compare the taste from the K-Cup pod to the whole bean. Of course, the whole bean is going to be a completely different animal and I cannot wait to put it to the sip test. But first, we're going to do a hands-on with the bag. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy right quick. So you have the name of the company, San Francisco Bay Coffee, a Rogers family company. This is the French Roast. This is the dark roast, but we do know this is not the darkest roast. Bold, full-bodied with a smoky finish. That is what's up, people. This is a deuce pound bag. Pause it if you want to read it, people. All right, let's continue around the back. A little bit more about the beans rot chair. Okay, let's check the fresh by date, shall we? Boom, we are good to go. We got almost a year of freshness. <laughs> All right, a little bit more on this right here. All right, ooh, I like that, 10 million trees. Wow, that is awesome. Good job, SF Bay Coffee. All right, where is the one-way valve at? There it is, tucked in the front right chair. Let's go ahead and knife this bad boy open and take a look at the beans. Whoo, that aroma. Whoo, that is a thing of delicioso right there, people. Wow, all right. Wow, that is powerful. <laughs> that is extremely powerful. Holy bejesus, people. Let's go ahead and look at these beans. So you got a decent amount of oil on them, not a huge amount, but just enough to consider it a roasted, roasted dark roast for sure. You can see the oil just glistening off of those beans. I'm not seeing a lot of imperfections in here. Of course, these are definitely roasted very aggressively to get that French dark roast. These are definitely on the larger size of beans which is very typical for big companies. They like to go with the larger beans and they roast them up pretty aggressively. Um, definitely liking all the oil that's coming out of here. Cannot wait to get these into the burr grinder and break those bad boys down and get a sip test going, woo! All right, let's get into the sip test, people. Woo, 
that smells very, very powerful. Not as powerful as the Italian dark roast, but it definitely smells very powerful. Holy but Jesus, people, I am, I'm a little bit scared. I'm not gonna lie to you. The coffee to water ratio, of course, is bananas as always. I do not have any sort of rhyme or reason to that coffee to water ratio. It's just something that I've started to do and stuck with it for these reviews for you people. All right, let's get into the sip. Whoa, woo, that is complex. Holy bejesus, wow. It hit me right in the nasal cavity uh, with a bitter, bizarre hit it was completely weird mass amount of flavor the aftertaste is pure smoke like ah, i feel like there's gonna be smoke coming out of my mouth holy but jesus definitely um, a good amount of oil coating the mouth right now wow <laughs> mm. yeah the initial hit is actually really weird it's like a bittersweet <laughs> Like it's a sweet bitter, like it's it's got this sort of bizarre um, uh, sour. It's like sweet and sour. That is literally what I'm getting from the initial hit. So it hits you up in the nasal with this sweet and sour, big punch straight to your taste buds, straight to your mouth, um, totally coated in this oil. Inhale is very sweet. The, the exhale is smoky. <laughs> This is a bizarre, amazing cup of coffee right here. Mm. Yeah, it goes down kind of thick. It goes down um, uh, smooth, but it's thick. The coating in your mouth is definitely noticeable. It's thick. It stays there. It's not moving. It's not going anywhere. It's a very... Um, it's, it's a thick cup of coffee. This is a thick boy right here, people. Wow, yes. Definitely has this different sort of um, mouthfeel to it. Very, very interesting. Yeah, I could definitely see this coffee being consumed with some breakfast food, with some sweet breakfast food like waffles, uh, chicken and waffles. Definitely a lot of syrup involved. This is a, um, it's a more earthy, more nutty, um, with a hint of sweet, that smoky aftertaste is where you're you're gonna be craving that sweetness. So it doesn't actually have that like dark sweet that I love, that I give the five stars to, that I give the, the best coffee to. So it doesn't have that. It's almost there. It's not too harsh to say that it's out of my realm. I will definitely drink this coffee. It definitely has a lot of flavor to it but it doesn't have that five star, bam, checklist completely checked off for me personally. Just, we gotta keep going though, this is very complex. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely, um, it gets a little bit aggressive. It is starting to get more aggressive because like I said, that oil is like building up on the mouth and it's not, it's not really going anywhere and it's kind of staying there and the inhale starts to get a little bit dry. So your mouth starts to feel a little bit dry, a little bit of cotton mouth, if you will. Um, definitely around the lips, so much oil, so much power. It's definitely a cup of coffee you're gonna want to consume with food because it's so powerful that if you're eating breakfast food and you want a, a cup of coffee that's not going to lose to the breakfast food, meaning the flavor is going to stand true. Of course, if you add all your cream, your sugar, your cake, your ice cream, your pudding, you add all that stuff into your coffee, then this is going to be the one for you because you're going to be able to taste this coffee. You're going to be able to taste that you're still drinking coffee and you're not just drinking a dessert drink. So definitely take note of that. If you're someone who loves all that fun stuff in your cup, then buy this bag because it's going to give you that punch, that kick, that enjoyment. Um, and of course, if you do anything like cold brew, this is going to be a great one for cold brew. It's going to be very strong, very powerful. Um, it's not going to lose its, its strength when you cold brew it. Yeah. 
yeah, this is definitely a cup of coffee that as you drink it, it becomes stronger and it becomes a little bit less enjoyable. So it starts off at a high and then it starts to work its way down. So it's not one of those like, ah, I have to have this cup of coffee. I can't wait to get this cup of coffee. It's definitely one of those where you want to consume it as coffee and then move on. So it may not be an all day cup of coffee. It may be a cup of coffee you have to break up the day. So if you've had like some medium roast throughout the day, drink this, break it up, get excited again. Or like I said, if you're gonna be eating food, you're gonna be eating breakfast food, brew up some of this coffee with the breakfast food, enjoy a good pairing. I believe it will be very, very solid. Um, yeah, definitely not my favorite cup of coffee right here. It's, it's, it's losing me as I talk, which is kind of the opposite of most sip tests. Usually I grow to love it. And, and love it more by the end, but this one for sure is just off a little bit. Yeah, the initial hit, like I said, it's like this sweet and sour. It's not, it's not, the blending is not as precise as I would like. That's basically where I'm at. It's not blending into this enjoyment, into this love. It's blending into this like kind of complex uh, cup of coffee that ultimately leaves me going, um, it's good, but I'm not, I'm not in love. I'm not falling in love. So I'm going to give this thing a solid 4.4 star rating. I'm going to say highly, highly recommended to anyone out there who wants some good coffee with breakfast food. If you're going to add your cream and sugar into it. Also, if you're a black coffee drinker like me, you may, you may fall in love with this. This could be your five star cup of coffee. Yeah. So stamp of approval with a warning, of course, know what you're buying, figure it all out, uh, comment down below and let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, buy it. All right, there you go. That's the SF Bay whole bean coffee. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click the clack that like button. If you want to join the Adam Lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. It's because of you guys, I surpassed 4K. Yes, people, on my way to 5K, but I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family. This guy's on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my videos. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.